Hi, welcome to Sarah's Stitchery. My name is Sarah, and this is my channel where I talk all about cross stitch and the things I've been stitching. So welcome. If you are a returning viewer, I appreciate you. Thank you for coming back. And if you are new here, I hope you enjoy what you see today and that you will consider subscribing to my channel. Um, I just wanna take a moment and just say thank you to all of you for your support. Um, it means a lot to me. There are a lot of wonderful floss tube channels out there. So the fact that you're spending time with me and watching my channel means a lot to me. So I really appreciate you. Um, and I appreciate all of the wonderful comments that you leave me um, on my videos. I appreciate the comments and the likes that you give me on Instagram when I post the things I'm stitching and, um, and the things I've been posting about my new puppy. Uh, if I get a chance, I'll show them a little bit later. They're both snoozing in their chair. So I have, if you're new here, I have two puppies. Um, I say puppies, they're not babies. Um, but I have a new dog named Lily. She's uh, between one and two. We don't quite know. She's a Chihuahua mix. Um, and we just rescued her a few weeks ago, maybe about a month ago. Um, so she's new to our family and we're really enjoying uh, getting to know her and and seeing how she interacts with our other dog, Daisy. Daisy is a Chawini, and um, so Daisy's a little bit older, so she's the big sister, and those two are just, they are so sweet. They act like they've been sisters forever, and I just, I just really enjoy being their dog mom, so thank you so much, everybody, for the, for the sweet comments and the welcomes you have given to Lily um, and joining our family, so thank you. All right, so um, personal update. Not a whole lot has been going on around here, just busy with work. Um, if you're new here, I'm a fourth grade teacher, so kind of in that, um, you know, that home stretch, getting ready for state testing coming up in April, um, just trying to get everything in and have time to review with the kids. So work's been a little stressful, a little busy. Um, it's been a little hard in the evenings, like just having the energy to stitch. There have been quite a few evenings where I've sat down to stitch and I've fallen asleep <laughs> while I'm stitching. So um, I don't have as much to show this week as I would like to, but I think I've made some good progress, um, all things considered. So, I mean, other than that, um, other than my job and just taking care of my new puppy and getting her acclimated to our new, to our home, new to her home. Um, yeah, just, uh, that's about it. So, um, anyway, I do have, um, a small retreat coming up next weekend, which I'm really excited about. So, uh, a small group of friends, there's about 10 of us are renting an Airbnb in Columbus, Ohio. So if you're new here, I live in Southwest Ohio, uh, about, uh, about 45 minutes, 35, 45 minutes, uh, north of Cincinnati, Ohio. And so um, it just so happens that Columbus, Ohio seems to be like the most central location for everybody in the group. So lucky me, it's only about an hour and a half away from where I live. So I'll be heading up on Friday. I think everybody else is getting there on Thursday, um, but I have to work. So I'll head up after work and see my friends and just have a nice stitchy weekend um, enjoying their company. So um, I'll tell you guys more about that when I come back for my next video because I also um, have a little bit of secret stitching that I've been doing for that. We're doing a smalls exchange at the retreat. And um, unlike other retreats where you do smalls exchange exchanges, we exchange names. It's like a secret um, exchange. So like you know who you're making for, but you don't know who's making for you. So I have a particular person I've been stitching for. So I'm, I've am i been really having a lot of fun choosing the design that I think she would like and customizing the colors for her and um, picking a finish that I think she'll enjoy. So I can't wait to give that to her next weekend. So um, I can't show it to you because I'm guessing she watches my channel. Maybe I shouldn't assume, <laughs> but um. But uh, yeah, I'll take some videos and pictures and share it with you next time. So let's get started. Let's talk stitching. Um, let's first talk about some a couple of sows that I'm hosting. Um, 
if you are newer to the cross stitch community, there's a lot of acronyms for things that we talk about. So SAL stands for stitch along. So um, I am gonna be hosting a new stitch along for a new pattern that just came out at market. And um, this is from one of my favorite designers, Hands On Design. And she just put out, um, amongst other wonderful um, designs, she put out several. Uh, she put out this one called Spring Folk. So this is part of a four season series. And um, this is the first one that she's releasing to the general public. She did, um, we did do the fall one at the Chantel's 141 retreat that I attended back in September. Um, and I'm sure she'll be releasing that one to everybody uh, closer to the fall season. But let me go ahead and show you the one I already stitched um, at that retreat. There it is. Isn't that pretty? So it's on the same board that's um, that's shown in that picture there. And so the board is actually created by Chantel from Chantel's 141 Design Company. And, um, and so we stitched this piece and we actually attached it with magnets. So there's magnets on the back, magnets on the back of this. That way, um, you know, with the intention of being able to stitch the other seasons and switch them out seasonally. So you can use this board year round. Um, I believe Chantel has these boards in her shop now. Uh, when you purchase it, it comes unfinished. And then that way you can decide like what, uh, if if you wanna stain it or paint it and what color um, works for your preferences. But um, I love how this design is etched in to mimic the quilting design here on this chart. So I love that those coordinate in that way. So um, like I said, we stitched this for the 141 retreat and it's just this beautiful band sampler. You've got, you know, your alphabet um, interspersed with some different um, design elements. You've got the quilty pattern here. You've got the blackbirds. Um, the thing that I love the most is the specialty stitches. So there's some specialty stitches up there. And, and I love that the specialty stitches are um, charted with a um, pearl cotton floss that is like close to the color of the fabric. So it's kind of like, it doesn't like pop out, but once you get close enough to look at it, you're like, oh, wow, like, look at that. So you've got these specialty stitches up here. You've got the herringbone stitch here. And then these down here, I don't remember what those are called. Um, but at the retreat, Kathy showed us how to do those. But even if you don't have Kathy coming to your house to show you how to do it, in her within her pattern, she includes step-by-step -step directions and um, diagrams and photographs on how to do each of those specialty stitches and how to fully finish this as um as this piece right here. So her, her descriptions and her directions are very explicit and very easy to follow. So don't let something like this intimidate you if you're someone who hasn't done specialty stitches or, or done a finish like this before. I hadn't either. Um, so I found with Kathy's directions um, that it was very easy to do. So I hope that you guys will consider stitching this one with me because I'm going to host a stitch along for this one. So let me put this down for a moment. So let's talk about the spring folk design. Let's take a look at it first. So I love the color palette. So it's stitched on the same fabric as the fall design was stitched on. It's stitched on this 32 count um, fabric by Fabrics by Stephanie in the color Driftwood. Um, and you're probably looking at it thinking, oh, a dark brown for a spring pattern, but it really works with this color palette. So the colors are all DMC. So it makes it very easy and accessible to kit up. These might even be colors you have in your stash already. You got some really pretty colors. You got this like um, orangey color, the teal. There's a couple different greens in here, some pinks. Right, so the, the palette is very springy 
and it really pops on that dark fabric. I love the little bunnies and the pink flowers. And this one also has um, some specialty stitches as well. I mean, look at those right there. That's gonna be fun. Again, I don't know what any of them are called, but Kathy is gonna, she has included all of the information that you need in within the pattern. And um, knowing Kathy, uh, she probably also has a video as well. I'm just kind of looking at the pattern here to see if there's anything else I need to tell you. But, yeah. But anyway, I'm sorry about that. I was just checking out the pattern. But she does have some diagrams on here for how to do those stitches. And, um, and I think it's going to be really fun. I love the background fabric that she's chosen. It'll be fun to pick a, a fun spring background for that. So I'm going to host a stitch along for this. Um, because I can't wait to display this on that board. Um, you can get your board from Chantel at Chantel's 141 Design Company. I will link her below. Um, but I would love for I would love for you guys to stitch this with me. I think it's so pretty. Um, so I'm going to, it's not gonna be like a scheduled um, stitch along where we stitch a certain section at a certain time. It's just gonna be like, hey, let's start it together and um, and let's stitch it together. So I'm gonna be using the hashtag um, HOD Spring Folk Sal. And I will put that down below so you don't have to try to remember. I'll put it in the description box below. But if you're gonna stitch this with me, um, please uh, post some progress pictures on Facebook or um, Instagram. You can find me on Instagram at Stitchy Sarah Reads, which I will post um, below as well. But tag me in it, use the hashtag. Uh, you can tag Kathy at Hands On Design. You can tag Chantel because it's her board there that we're using for finishing. Um, so tag us, we would love to see your progress. Um, Again, it's a very easy pattern to kit up because it's all charted in DMC. And um, I know Fabrics by Stephanie, she's really great about getting those fabrics out to you quickly. So if you haven't, if you didn't pre-order this from Market, I'm sure you can get it now anyway. So I would love for you to join me. So yay, let me know if you're thinking of joining me. I cannot wait. It's going to be fun. Okay. Um, speaking of sows, so um, I'm hosting a sow with uh, my friend Allison at um, AZ Family Zoo on Instagram and Flosstube, and she's on Etsy. Um, you can find her at AZ Family Zoo and also Mrs. AZ Family Zoo. Again, I'll put that information down below. But we're hosting a bunny parade sow, and we are stitching um, some bunnies from these uh adorable charts from Leela Studio called Spring Parade. They're set one, set two, and a lot of people have joined in. It's been really fun to see everybody's stitching. So actually that kind of leads me into my finishes today because I finished my bunny. First of all, let me back up a little bit. So I'm gonna be also showing you some previous finishes today. Um, so I have this like in my dough bowl. I'm going to show you the dough bowl first before I demolish it and take everything out. So, oh goodness. There's my dough bowl. And you can see my bunnies in here. So I'm going to pull them out and show them to you because we're talking about the bunnies right now, the bunny parade cell. So this bunny right here is a start and finish and fully finish since I saw you last. So I, excuse me, I decided I was going to stitch the bunny who was driving the carrot. Here he is down here. He's from set one. So I decided I was gonna stitch the carrot bunny. And so I actually stitched him on the same fabric as I stitched my other two bunnies. So I, I have a little tradition that I stitch a bunny every year. So this is my third year stitching a bunny. The first year, two years ago, I guess since this is 2024, so he would be 2022. I stitched him in 2022 as the artichoke bunny. And then in 2023, I stitched the radish bunny. And then of course, like I just showed you, 
I stitched the carrot bunny. So now I've got three bunnies. They're so cute. So I stitched all three on the same fabric. It was a 32 count um, linen that I got from a Black Needle Society box a while back. I believe it was the Happy Happy Hour stitching box. So um, it might have been might have been called it's five o'clock somewhere. I don't know that. I think it might have been an exclusive for the box, but I mean, if you like the green, you could literally use any, any springy green, but I've seen so many fun fabrics that people have been using for these on Instagram. I saw somebody was using like a pink gingham. Um, I've seen some of the ones with like the spots on it. Somebody used a really pretty blue. They did the, uh, they did this sheep on a really pretty like light blue so you could really have some fun with the colors with these but I stitched all of mine on this green and I just turned them into little pillows um, for my double so and this one I couldn't resist I had this carrot fabric <laughs> so there there he is he's my finish and my fully finish um, I stitched this up in a weekend. It went really fast. They're all charted with DMC, so they're easy to kit up. And, yep, yeah, there he is. So, um, if you are stitching along with us, please make sure you're using our hashtag, um, Bunny Parade Sal 2024. I'll put it in the description box below. And make sure you tag myself, Stitchy Sarah Reads, and tag Mrs. AZ Family Zoo on Instagram and um, we have been reposting those pictures in our stories to share with everybody else so everybody can see all the bunny love. So yeah, so those that was my finish. I did um, decide to pull out a couple more finishes just to show you because whenever I change out my decor, I like to pull out some of my previously finished things. Um, and I realized I don't have a lot of spring finishes. So, <laughs> Hence the um, spring folk sow. <laughs> so, did I say the hashtag for this one? I don't recall if I did. Um, rewind. If you are going to be stitching this with me, make sure you use the hashtag HOD spring folk sow. And I will put, put that below. Sorry if I'm repeating myself. I, I've actually started this video over a couple of times because... Because... I don't know why, but in my dough ball, you probably also saw that I had a couple of other little pillows. These are from the Plum Street Samplers um, Salt Box series. Um, these are the spring ones, so I finished those last year, so I just keep them here in my dough bowl. They're just little pillows, and I think they just look cute with my little bunnies in here, so yep. Yeah. Here's my dough bowl again. There they are. So that's a cute little display that I have in my dining room. And I finished this one last year. I love it. Speaking of hands-on design and Chantel, because I'm pretty sure this is a Chantel board as well. Um, this was a finish that I did last year. Life needs more chocolate bunnies. I couldn't agree more. So yeah, I stitched this last year and fully finished it on this um, paddle board from Chantel. You can see that it comes unfinished and then you just stain it however you like it or paint it. And, um, oh, I love those little button tails. I stitched this, um, I believe I stitched it on a 32 count rustic drab from Extra Design. And I stitched it with the called for sulky threads. And then as you can see, I just plopped it on this board. I used that same carrot fabric that I put on the back of my carrot bunny and um, put this ribbon up here and I love it. Very cute. So I'll sit this over here. All right. So that's my finish, my previous finishes, my um, stitch alongs. Whew. Let's talk about whips. Let's do that next. So like I said, I don't have a lot of whips. But, um, but I'll show you what I have. So usually I save this one for last, but I'll show it first today because I have a new start that I want to show you today. So this first one, if you've been here before, you've seen it many times. 
because I have been working, working, working on it. I am stitching Let Love Rain. Again, I'll show you the, um, the picture of the full piece here. And there it is. So this is from Teresa Kogut, and I'm stitching mine on a 46 count fox and rabbit um, fabric in the color prehistoric using all DMC floss. There it is. So I think the last time I saw you, sorry, I think the last time I saw you, I was still working on finishing the flowers in the border. So those are finished and now I'm working on the center here. So um, I think since I've seen you, I've added this big flower, some of the greenery, and I'm working on the, um, the flower pot urn thing. So there it is. I'm continuing to make progress. I really would like to get this done by the end of the month. That's a lot of stitching. I'm gonna take it to my retreat next week and we'll see what kind of magic I can, I can whip up. So there's that. Let love rain. Um, this one is also a favorite of mine. It's called My Blue Heaven. Now I only worked on this one one evening since I last showed it to you. So there's not a whole lot more progress than the last time you saw it, but progress is progress. So I'm gonna show it to you because I just cannot stop looking at this. So this is um, My Blue Heaven by Summerhouse Stitchworks. And I this was the retreat piece for the Keepsakes um, retreat uh, stitch away that I went to in January. And it is available through Keepsakes. So if you like this pattern, you can buy it through Keepsakes. Um, just go to their website and order it or you can call them. But since you've seen it last, I have been working on the um, stonework in the front facade of the house there. That's all I've gotten done since I saw you last. But again, progress is progress, right? Okay. Um, and the only other thing that I have besides my secret stitching that I can't show you is um, I have a new start. So um, I have a friend named Sarah and uh, she actually has a floss tube called Handmade by Sarah W. If you haven't watched her, please do. She stitches really beautiful things and she's an Ada stitcher. So um, it's just fun to see because I'm a linen stitcher. It's fun to see. Um, her fabric choices and, you know, I know there's a lot of Ada stitchers out there and Ada is beautiful. It's fun to see the fabrics she chooses and the colors of fabrics and her pieces look amazing. So I love that. I love that um, we stitch a lot of the same things, but on different fabrics. It's really cool. But she has been eyeing this pattern. This is uh, Sarah's Sewing Bag by Stacy Nash Designs. And she was like, I wanna stitch this. And I said, well, it's Sarah's Sewing Bag, so I think I have to stitch it too. So we just decided one day, let's kit it up, let's stitch it. So um, I think, I think both of us had like some of the week, the called four weeks dye works, and then we just kitted the rest of it up with DMC. But there it is. So it's really, it's going to be a really interesting finish um, because when you stitch it, like this part that, that you're stitching is upside down, but of course it's going to fold over and it's going to be right side up when you fold it over. But then you've got this part down here with the house and the little deer and the tree, and then there's the back of it. So it's going to be fun to fully finish. It's going to be an interesting finish. I've never done anything like that before. So, um, so yeah, here's our color palette. Um, yeah, we're using all of the called for weeks except for, um, we did have to, we did have to sub out some DMC. I don't think the DMC equivalents are on here. We kind of chose our own colors. So if you're stitching Sarah's sewing bag and you're interested in the colors we're using, let one of us know. We'll be happy to share that with you. Um, but I'm stitching mine on a 40 count um, fox and rabbit in the in the color saltbush, and that's what I've got. I'm so I'm stitching this. Um, I started up here, so I've got an upside down flower pot with no flowers in it, and that's what I've got so far. Not a huge start, but a start is a start. So. 
that's where I'm at with that. So yeah. So those were my whips. Like I said, I didn't have a whole lot to show this time, but if you think about it, I started and finished that bunny and um, I've been doing my secret stitching. I've started and finished my smalls exchange. So I have some stuff. I just uh, can't show it all. But anyway, um, before I go, let me show you. I don't have any haul. I didn't buy anything, but I have a couple of happy mail um, things to share with you. So this first thing um, is not Stitchy related, but it's for my dog and it's from Stitchy friends of mine. So I have a friend named Fran. She is a very, very sweet lady. Um, she's always been a very loyal viewer of mine and we are friends um, on Instagram and we chat on the phone and she just loves my puppies so much. I love that she loves my puppies. Um, because I love my puppies and I think they're great. So she's kind of like their surrogate mom. And so when she saw that we had welcomed a new puppy, Lily, into our family, she sent Lily a gift. Um, and she had sent Daisy a similar gift a while back. So let me start with Daisy's. So a while back, she had sent this gift for Daisy. It is a lovely custom-made quilt. And um, the quilt was made by my friend Allison, Mrs. AZ Family Zoo, the lady that I am hosting that stitch along with. So Allison has an Etsy shop where um, she sells handmade um, quilts and project bags and she has some jewelry and some scissor fobs and all kinds of really cute stuff um, on her Etsy shop because Allison has a um, she has an animal sanctuary at her home. She and her husband take in animals with special needs and they give them forever homes where they take care of them for life. And so, as you can imagine, that could be a little expensive. So everything that Allison makes and puts on her Etsy shop, the sales, um, go towards the care of the animals that they take care of. So, um, Fran had purchased this from Allison to send, um, to Daisy. So, in here in my craft room, over in that corner there, there's an armchair and that's where my doggies like to sit. And so this quilt um, hangs on the back of the chair so that Daisy can sit with her special quilt from Miss Fran and Miss Allison, that's what we call them. And so, you know, of course Daisy had her own quilt. So of course Fran figured Lily needed her own quilt too. So. Imagine my surprise when I get this package in the mail with this beautiful quilt, also made by AZ Family Zoo um, for my sweet little Lily. And this one has that minky stuff on the back. It is so soft, so soft. So this one also sits on the chair where my girl, my puppy girls like to sit. So thank you so much, Fran and Allison, for being so kind and sweet towards my puppies. Um, yeah, I love it. Thank you. That was a very sweet gift. And my puppies love Miss Fran and Miss Allison so much. So thank you. All right. I have one more piece of happy mail. This one is stitchy related. And I actually got this just today. Special delivery. My mom and my sister made a trip up to my house here um, to drop this off. And also because my sister had not met Lily yet. So... So double duty, they got to kill two birds with one stone. But my sister brought me this project bag. So let me stop and, and back up a little bit. So my mom and my sister are both very talented project bag makers. They both have their own Etsy shops. So my mom's shop is called Painted Leaf Co. In my last video, I showed the um, raccoon bag that she made. There's these uh, cute little raccoons driving airplanes, like these old fashioned airplanes. And um, I had a spring bag, I actually have it sitting in front of me here, that my sister had made for me. Um, and I showed this one in my last video. I'm actually keeping my spring folk sal in here. But today I had a special delivery of this bag. So my sister's shop is called Pepper Pot Shop. Shop with two P's and an E at the end. And she also sells really adorable project bags. And so she brought me this one today. And I'm just gonna bring it in close because these rabbits are too cute. You can see they're gardening, they're planting some carrots and some lettuce. Um, there they are. 
I love the one with the pink wheelbarrow. And then um, got this adorable little charm here with the bunny with the carrot. Speaking of carrots, look familiar? <laughs> I love this fabric. I cannot get enough of these carrots. I love it. So I got this bag today. I cannot wait to find something to put in it. Um, and if you love this bag, they are available in my sister's shop right now. I will link her shop below. Um, or you can just go on Etsy and type in pepper pot shop. Pepper pot is one word. And again, shop has two P's and an E at the end. So go check her out. Follow both Painted Leaf Co. and Pepper Pot Shop on, et on Instagram. Follow them on Etsy too. And um, on Instagram is where they post when they're putting new bags in the shop. So that way you won't miss any fun bags. So yeah. All right, I think that's it for me today. I guess it's probably one of my shorter videos, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, that's what I've got going on. Like I said, I'm looking forward to my retreat next weekend. So I look forward to telling you guys all about that. And um, hopefully we got some warmer weather coming our way. I know like got all the spring stitching going on here. It does not feel much like spring right now. It's very cold outside, but at least the sun is shining. I have my um, sweatshirt on today. It says... It's a good day to cross stitch. I actually um, bought matching ones for my friends Allison, Alley Cat 13 on Instagram, and my friend Karen, who is Benton Station Crafter, I believe, on Instagram. Um, I had bought them these sweatshirts for their birthdays. They had birthdays last month. So, of course, I had to buy one for myself so that we could be matchers. <laughs> we actually went out to lunch with these on. Um, and uh, there was this lady who saw us and she was just like looking at us like, why are those women all wearing the same shirt? She was very perplexed by it. <laughs> or maybe she was reading it and be like, it's a good day to cross stitch. Hmm, okay. <laughs> maybe that's what she was thinking. I'm sure. Um, anyway. Um, yes. So I look forward to getting back to my let love rain. I do want to work on my Sarah's sewing bag with my friend Sarah, handmade by Sarah W. Go watch her channel. She's amazing. She actually just hit 3,000 subscribers. So congratulations to you, Sarah. Um, it's funny because Sarah and I, not only do we share a name, but we also share a lot of the same tastes in stitching. So it never fails. She'll start something. I'll be like, mm, I already have that started. I'm going to stitch it with you. So it's... um. It's really fun to have a friend who just loves to stitch all the same things that you do. Um, and it's just really fun to see everybody on Instagram stitching all the things. And then, of course, enabling me to stitch all the things. But I've actually been doing really good about sticking to my plan of, like, not starting all the things. Um, last year, by the end of February, I had started 22 new projects. I think this year, by the end of February, I had only started five new things. So um, I've been doing very good about keeping my um, finishes, the number of finishes, um, higher than my number of starts. So good start to the year. Anyway, all right, I'm rambling at this point, so I'm going to stop talking. I hope you all have a lovely week, weekend, day. I hope you're stitching all the things that make you happy. Let me know if you plan on joining me for the spring folk sal. Just whenever you get it started. Um, I plan on starting probably sometime this week. Um, and yes, and again, if you will consider hitting the subscribe button below, I would be very much appreciative. And um, I will be back in two weeks to tell you all about my retreat and to show you the things I've been stitching. So. With that, I will say goodbye. Bye, guys.